In this video, I'll walk you through Copilot Create. I'll also show you how to create an image, how to edit it, how to create a poster and a banner with this wonderful Microsoft Copilot tool. Without further ado, let's get started. In the left pane, we can see Copilot Create. You probably see my mouse going crazy here. Copilot Create, you click on that and then boop, I'm back here. Hello. <laughs> um, and then you have multiple uh, options at the top. So Copilot Create is basically an image creation tool, but not only an image creation tool. You have the option to create an image. As you can see here, my images, I created all of these images and I don't remember which one I made. So here, here you go. So see the Copilot Coffee Break image I did with Copilot. And I did a lot of, of things with Copilot Create. All of this is made with Copilot Create. And uh, this is how you do it. So basically, you go here and you describe your image and let's do one together. I will get to the banner in a few minutes. I just want to show you how to use Copilot Create. So I always start like that. Create an image of a colorful uh, accountant. Oh, shoot. That's not what I, I didn't want. I didn't mean to press enter. Uh, I meant to press shift enter, but it seems like it's not working. So I will say he is very happy to do a live presentation and there is 1000 people in the room make it cartoonish and please have some lightning in the sky <laughs> i was looking for my 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 uh, words here there is lightning in the sky as the guy is presenting and he is wearing a very nice bathing suit okay so we're going to give uh, as much detail as we can in our prompt and you will see Copilot will probably pick up all of these items. I did a really random prompt. I don't have any guidelines for you here. I just want you to add some details and imagine yourself drawing, right? So uh, I will imagine myself drawing like that and that will be okay. Uh, the, the lightning in the sky and he's, he's doing this stuff. Uh, so, so basically that's, that's what you want to do with Copilot Create. And then what I like to do I attached an image of the guy that you need to put in the image. I attached an image of the guy that you need to put in the created image. Let's try to be clear here. And the results are kind of random, but sometimes really good. And I will go into add an image here. And I will basically go into my images, video editing, images, my face, and I will add a face of myself. So that's the kind of thing you can do. Why don't we add this picture here that I'm literally 22 years old, right? Then we can define the style, the second part here, the style, and you can decide any of these style. Let's, let's take this one, anime here, boom. And then you can select your brand and color, right? And you can see here that you have normal colors, but if your company has some branding, you can actually create a brand kit. So in my case, I always go with like the purple, the green, and this blue here that you've probably seen on many of my cheat sheets. And I just select my brand kit here. It's pretty easy to create a brand kit. I think when you don't have one, you can just click here on, and click like create brand kit or something like that. Uh, I won't go through that today. And then the last thing you can do is uh, select a size. I always like to do my YouTube thumbnails in this case, which is the horizontal size right here. Uh, it's not perfect so far. There's only like three sizes available. So if you are in marketing, you need a specific size. Uh, basically, uh, it won't serve you, but you can take it and, and put it in Canva afterward or even like uh, Microsoft Designer and resize it. So uh, I'm going to take here uh, square. Let's do it like that. Let's go create. Then it's going to take some time. It's going to load. There you go. You can describe the changes that you want. You could say uh, change the calculator for an Excel logo. Attach. And I always like to attach logos here. I'm going to go into my personal assets and I'm going to add an Excel logo. Uh, oh, let's, let's change the calculator from a broccoli actually for a broccoli. I added a broccoli here. Here we go. And maybe we can click on update. Here it is. I am holding a broccoli. Uh, my colorful accountant is holding a broccoli. So, so that's Copilot create guys. I think it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, 
that's that's pretty interesting, right? If you're just starting with Microsoft Copilot, you can download my Copilot Jump Start Toolkit right here, free in the description below. Back to the video. We can make multiple things with Copilot Create. You can design a poster. So a poster is like a cover page. Let's say it like that. So what, if you're doing presentation, you want to build a PDF, you can create posters. I can show you some examples of posters that I have created. Basically all of my written guides that I use, like this step-by-step -step Copilot in Excel guide that is available in my Copilot Essentials course, uh, I created the cover page with uh, Copilot Create that I then download and I put it in Canva. I prefer doing that. For me, it's easier. Uh, so that's how I roll. Let me show you real quick. Uh, and I have a lot of things on my Canva here and see like I bring it back in Canva here and I, I put it as a first cover page and I add the, the Excel logo and the Copilot logo in this. So I think it's pretty interesting what you can do with a Copilot Create and see like I have, I have multiple of them. Um, as you can see here, I did my Copilot Ultimate PowerPoint guide, which are all things available in my Copilot Essentials course, uh, all of this with Copilot Create. So I've been using it quite a bit, along with ChatGPT, along with Canva. I use all of them, guys. I use many, many tools. Uh, each of them are for a specific purpose. So let's get to the meat and bone of this meeting. Uh, Susan asked me, how did you do this banner? How did you do this banner right here, the Copilot Coffee Break that I added at the top of my email? That's what I did when I sent you the email reminding you this uh, live uh, Copilot session right here. So basically, I went here and I described the banner. I want a banner for my invitation to my Copilot Coffee Break presentation where I will answer any question on the top. And one thing I was sad when I did a banner is that you cannot add an image just like the few other things that I just showed you. I cannot like attach a file. Maybe it's going to uh, appear at some point. Maybe Microsoft will do an update. I'm not too sure. Uh, but other than that, it's very similar to create an image. You select your brand and colors. I will select the piggy bank here, right here. And then for the size, you can either select a Teams post, a Word document, an Outlook email or an Outlook event even. Uh, I think I selected Word document in this case and not even Outlook emails. Uh, and then you just click create and it's going to create the banner. It's going to generate a completely different banner from what I did earlier. It's probably gonna be similar. Uh, see at the bottom here, you see the previous banners, but right now Copilot is creating a new banner. Suzanne, I hope that you're still here and, and see here, Oh, I, I prefer these, I prefer these. And why are they different? It's because my prompt was different, right? So you can put uh, as much info as you want in there, and then you can edit some of them. Let's edit this one here, the Copilot Coffee Break Invite. It's pretty cool, right? So you can uh, edit here. And basically, that's what I like with this. When you use ChatGPT to create an image, you cannot edit your text here. But here, if I say, break for Susan, it's amazing. I can do all of the changes, easy as that. There we go, I'm changing the font in just so easy. Oh my God, this is not looking great, but there you go. And then you can add an effect here. You can, oh, look at that. We are in a retro version of the break for Copilot. And, and you know what, like I added some images here I add the Copilot symbol, which were pre-uploaded. You know, if you just click here on uh, media, click on my media, you can upload from your device and add some media, right? So how good is that? Like, how long did it take me to do that? And then we, we can add the date. Control C, Control V, we add the date. What date are we? July 11, 2025, 9 a.m. EDT, right? Uh, and then we can make it bigger. Like so, so, so simple. I select multiple stuff with shift, move it up and there you go. And you know, let's add this guy. Oh, look at this pretty face, but this picture is annoying, right? Let's remove the background. Click here. I 
clicked here, remove background. It's loading up. And I don't want this to be like a designer course. I'm not a designer. But like, look at that. Guys, I did this in like two seconds. How good is this?